organizers, honorary chair, academician, and dear researcher. I'm Engineer Aditya Singh, and today my uh, topic of uh, presentation is the utility of composite construction in the modern world. At present, I'm an independent researcher and uh, ad hoc reviewer in two American international journals, as well as alumni mentor in my university. So I will proceed with the presentation. Uh, these are the points that we are going to cover in today's presentation. Introduction, literature review and research gap, different kinds of composite building materials, methodology, result and discussion, conclusions, references. Introduction. General. Need, objectives, and motivation. Uh, as you can see, uh, composite construction is basically a general term, which is generally used to describe building construction of any type, where many different materials are used together. Uh, for instance, uh, there, there should be at least two materials which should be dissimilar and they are combined together to form a single entity which is superior to the individual uh, element. For example, you can uh, uh, say composite uh, like concrete or reinforced concrete. Uh, when you are mixing a steel and concrete together to enhance the tensile strength as well as compressive strength, then uh, reinforced plastics and so on. Now there comes a question, what is the need of using them? What is the need of using composite construction or composites? Uh, you see, while uh, using composites, uh, we can find design flexibility plus their strength is increased as compared to the individual component or the original component. When they are combined together, then they also become durable and so on. Now, we proceed with the objectives. In this presentation, we are going to understand the uh, concept, the general concept of composite construction as well as the current research trend in the area of composite construction and some research gaps. We are also going to highlight what is the need of a composite construction at present and the future of composite construction. Uh, if I'm talking about motivation, uh, in the recent decades, we have seen that a number of projects are using composite construction, uh, especially in the civil engineering area. And if I'm talking about other uh, fields also, we are seeing more and more use of composites. As a civil engineer, I felt that it's uh, my duty to highlight uh, what is the current trend of composite construction and its utility. The picture review and research gaps. Uh, for this paper, I've studied around 25 research and review papers. I found that around 35% uh, to 40% were useful related to my topic. Mostly, I've seen that the composite uh, construction the papers related to it, our researchers were mostly stuck with the construction area uh, in those papers, which is just a subfield of civil engineering. There are other fields of civil engineering also, which were missing in those papers like transportation or environmental engineering and others. Different kinds uh, different kinds of composite building materials. Uh, in, this, uh, in this section, 
we are going to discuss a few of the, the different kinds of composite materials which are generally used like reinforced plastics uh, polyvinyl chloride low density polyethylene high density polyethylene if i am talking about reinforced plastics it is a it is reinforced with fibrous materials that comprises wood fiberglass and other materials it can be of two types thermoset and thermoplastics if i am talking about thermoset it is a, a type of plastic which during the uh, during the curing process polymers are cross linked together to make irreversible bond these types of plastics are having a good strength and superior heat resistant quality for example fiberglass rebar carbon uh, uh, carbon fiber car parts car parts fiberglass boat hulls etc then the second uh, category is thermoplastic reinforced plastic also have uh, the curing process but this one is uh, dissimilar from the earlier one in this one the chemical bond formation doesn't take place so uh, which it can remove it uh, in order to uh, devoid of affecting the material physical properties it has high impact resistance property high strength and it is also further divided into organic ones and natural uh, organic ones and inorganic ones then pvc uh, this type of composite has flexible uh, design options flexible design options it is uh, found to be used in decking materials uh, plus you can also find pvc pipes which are uh, mostly found in buildings and etc it is uh, very durable plus it can also be found in fencing then low density polyethylene this type of composite material is generally used for landscaping marketplace reformation parks uh but compared to high density polyethylene or polyvinyl chloride it is comparably less used uh it has light weight and it is assorted with other materials like natural fibers wood and in order to create high durability high density polyethylene this type of composite material is having a considerable strength plus durability uh, they can be found in many construction projects like uh, they are uh, made out of milk jugs detergent bottles etc which are recycled ones then uh, it can also be assorted with rain uh, with fiberglass reinforced polymer rebar or fiberglass strand uh, in order to improve structural integrity in addition to strength in order to bear heavy loads this type of composite has superior tensile strength a composite construct uh, we can found uh, the the application of composites in many different fields like uh, if i'm talking about aerospace composites are used in flights rockets spacecrafts because uh, they are lightweight and they have a good amount of strength also then in automotive 
uh, because of the light weight, they are also used in uh, vehicle designs so that the fuel consumption can also be less. Then in architecture, uh, it is also a, a composites are quite popular uh, because architects and designers uh, prefer to use them as they provide a design uh, flexibility. Then infrastructure. Composites are also popular in uh, structures uh, because they can provide high load bearing capacity and they can also save co unnecessary cost if uh, the traditional uh, materials are used instead of composites. Uh, similarly, there are other areas also which can be read in the in this slide. Result and discussion. In figure two, we can see the market size of construction composites. In year 2021, it's around 51.5 million US dollar. But in year 2028, it is expected to rise to 72.6 million US dollar. Uh, we can see that the uh, increase, uh, the expected increase of market size of uh, construction composites is at a decent rate. But uh, since the trend is a uh, positive increase, so in the future, it is expected that uh, we should try to use more and more uh, composite in uh, different projects. That will be a wise decision. But as we can see that since it's around a 5% uh, increase uh, per, per year, so we can also say that uh, if we are not going to research on uh, other uh, superior types of composites, then uh, in the future, there can be a point where the market can be stagnant. So to avoid reaching that stage, we should uh, research on new types of composites as well. Figure three, uh, this graph shows investment plans in civil construction projects. As we can see, uh, they are a number of uh, civil uh, construction projects in Canada, in Germany, US, and we can see that the, these projects are having a, a huge amount of investment in billions of US dollar and million US dollars. And for these construction projects, uh, Composites will play an important role. So, of course, uh, since they are expected uh, for the future investment, like in Canada, the uh, it is for 2028 year, year 2028. Uh, so we can say that in these uh, projects, the the expansion uh, for the application of composites will also increase and the civil engineering construction projects uh, will play an important role, uh, especially for composites. And it can also dominate uh, other fields uh, if we are talking about in regards to composites in the future. Uh, th this figure four, it's showing forecasted revenue of carbon composites in two different sectors. Uh, first is the worldwide aerospace and defense market in the year 2022. It's around 9.32 billion US dollar. Whereas the worldwide construction market in the same year is 1.07 billion US dollar. We can see there's a huge difference in carbon composite in these two sectors. Uh, in the case of aerospace and defense market, uh, the, the revenue of carbon composites is way too superior than construction market. And uh, 
it can also be said because the uh, utility of carbon composites is uh, way better in aerospace and defense market. So that is also a major, major reason that the force revenue is, uh, is highest in aerospace and defense market. Uh, the other markets are not considered in this graph, but uh, if I'm talking about them, then also aerospace and defense market is superior. But uh, since we are talking about this graph, so we can say that the construction market, uh, if we increase uh, usability of composites or more better composites can be researched and found, then of course the revenue of carbon composite will also increase in future in the construction sector. Then increase, uh, figure five, increased uses of composites in the tallest buildings. Uh, these are uh, the, the 100 tallest buildings. If we are talking about uh, from in year 1980, it was just 12% of the composites were used in those 100 tallest buildings. Uh, if I'm not, if I'm talking about before 1980, since I'm not considered before 1980, because uh, the composites were not popular in the tallest buildings, and it was almost uh, insufficient percentage. So, but as you can see, from year 1980, uh, in the year 2015, 45% uh, of composites are used in 100 tallest buildings in the world. And uh, through this graph, we can say that the composites are replacing the steel, which is an alloy. And uh, the composites are replacing other metals at very uh, rapid rate. And maybe in the future, the composites, uh, the percent of composite can increase further also in the tallest buildings. And this is also because the composites are lightweight and they are durable and they save cost. So while constructing the tallest buildings, we require those things and we prefer to use composites. And at present, composites are playing a major role in building uh, the tallest buildings, and not only the tallest buildings, even other buildings, which are major ones, uh, we can find the use of composites in them is significantly higher than what we uh, could imagine uh, four decades ago. Conclusion. Uh, in this paper, we try to understand uh, uh, composite construction in general, as well as a, a rough idea about what is uh, the current trend of construction composites in uh, different sectors and what is the utility and how it can uh, proceed in the future. And especially if we are talking about a uh, construction sector, uh, which is a sub-branch civil engineering, then we have uh, then it can be compared with other uh, uh, branches also with other fields also. And as we have seen in uh, the graph that uh, the future is bright for construction composites. And if we are uh, talking about the, uh, the rate of increase of construction composites, market size, uh, sorry, then it's in the future, it is increasing of around 5%. But we can imagine that if we are not going to find some other uh, uh, better composites in the future, then at some point of time in the future, the market uh, will be scanned for construction composites. Of course, uh, if you are talking about US uh, and Canada, then 
of course uh, the north american continent is the uh, dominant one in the uh, world if you, uh, for construction composites as most of the projects they are using composites uh, which is way more better uh, which is way more higher than other continents uh, but in the future it is expected that uh, the um, that in us it the market can reach uh, the market can be stagnant at some point in the future but if you are talking about uh, asia then of course uh, china is uh, the leading one in the world uh, for the application of composites we can find uh, a number of uh, tall buildings uh, which are have lot of uh, composite materials and uh, especially if we are talking about asia then the uh, at present uh, the composites uh, are not that much popular compared to uh, the north american continent uh, but in the future uh, the rate is as a positive trend so it is expected that it can reach uh, even higher and in the future it is expected that in the asian continent uh, the market uh, for uh, composite construction will be way better and uh, since uh, the main risk in america is that the market can be stagnant asian but uh, that won't be the case in asia then uh, some other uh, things were also considered and uh, in what areas construction composites are popular or uh, these are the references which are used thank you well uh, thank you dr adita for this nice presentation. Uh, I think for the, the time of the session, we can proceed to the next uh, presentation, the GBS positioning for static application. Uh, 